Art is one of the most popular forms available to people for expressing their lives, thoughts, emotions, or perceptions of life. Throughout the evolution of humanity. Here are the list of 24 incredible sculptures of all time. 1. Capi Cax, Young Capote, Cuba. Young Capote is an artist from Cuba, Havana, trained in painting, yet improving his skills in sculpture as well. Acknowledged by his entourage as a promising artist, his works are defined as solid, absolute, provocative, and nonconformist. According to some critics of art, he emphasizes his works on the interactions between individuals and psychological experiences. Capi Cax is one of those artworks that readjusts the human body. 2. Loveland, Ijiju Island, Korea. Art has no boundaries, nor does it account for inhibitions, just like the open-air park named Loveland from Jeju Island, South Korea. Opened in 2004, park's theme is sexuality and sexual education, a controversial topic with less positive reactions. All over park's surface there is an impressive collection of more than 140 sexual sculptures focused on love. The sculptures were created by a group of students from an arts university in Seoul. You can also create art with nudity and the Jeju Island Park is the ideal place to enjoy art in a distinct form, taken at another level. 3. Expansion, Paige Bradley. From the moment we're born, we already have an identity shaped by the world. But is that really us? Expansion is a powerful sculpture that leaves room for multiple interpre interpretations. Some can see a woman bleeding light, others a man leaving his inner self to surface through a burst of light. For the Oceanides, the Great Britain. The Oceanides were the nymphs of the great ocean, yet Oscar Sparmack turned them into amazing Carora marble sculptures. The positions chosen by the artist reveal that, in spite of the classic subject, there is zero interest in tranquility and classic balance. Moreover, his delight for exploring the feminine shape in motion leads to sculptures featuring tense and uncomfortable positions. The whole ensemble is very dynamic and dramatic at the same time. 4. The Oceanides were Great Britain. The Oceanides were the nymphs of the Great Ocean, yet Oscar Sparmack turned them into amazing Carora marble sculptures. The positions chosen by the artist reveal that, in spite of the classic subject, there is zero interest in tranquility and classic balance. Moreover, his delight for exploring the feminine shape in motion leads to sculptures featuring tense and uncomfortable positions. The whole ensemble is very dynamic and dramatic at the same time. F 5. Kiss of Death, Poblna Cemetery Barcelona, Spain. Located in Poblna, a Barcelona cemetery, this white marble sculpture has a different depiction for death, imagined as a winged skeleton that kisses a young man's forehead. The face of young man is interesting, since you can't see exactly the emotion that best describes him. Is it fear or silence in the arms of death? 6. Cartoon Drawings, Neil Dawson, New Zealand. Neil Dawson is a New Zealand sculptor, author of truly amazing and incredible sculptures. What you think you see, namely cartoons or animations, are actually metal sculptures. 7. Venus of Willendorf. It is one of the oldest sculptures of the world, made from limestone during Paleolithic. Well-defined shapes and body anatomy make this sculpture special, especially since it's so old. 8. Metal Morphosis, David Cerny. Prague-born David Cerny is the author of Metal Sculpture, Metal Morphosis, 7.60m height displaying a man's head. This was also the first stable public exhibition of the artist in America. The sculpture consists of 40 layers articulated in seven individually rotating layers. Initially, water was running out of sculpture head. 9. The Vigeland Park, Gustav Vigeland, Norway. Vigeland Park is the largest sculpture park in the world made by a single artist and one of Norway Norway's biggest attractions. Sculptures are made by Gustav Vigeland, including more than 200 items made from granite, bronze, and iron, same as architecture and park's design. 10. People of the River, Chong Fa Chong, Singapore. By the river shores you will be able to observe these almost vivid statues as a celebration of evil significance once. Created by Chong Fa Chong, the sculptures depict the lives of the locals who have been linked and influenced by evil. 
The statue of children jumping into the water is probably the most popular and is located near the Kavnar Bridge. 11. The Equine Sculptures, Masud Rangrazen Karaj. When the painting continues and the sculpture comes to life. Masud is an Iranian artist, known for his natural size horses sculptures. 12. Gardens of Bomazo. Monsters Park was created in the 16th century, definitely not to impress. Park is full of sculptures depicting bizarre and frightening creatures and vegetation allowed to grow wild, integrated into this world. 13. Nelson Mandela, Marco Chanfinelli. South African artist Marco Chanfinelli made a 50 years anniversary memorial to honor the anti-war activity of politician Nelson Mandela and his detention by the apartheid regime. Side view, Nelson's portrait was made of 50 steel columns, anchored in concrete. 14. Michelangelo, David, 1501-1504 One of the most iconic works in all of art history, Michelangelo's David had its origins in a larger project to decorate the buttresses of Florence's great cathedral, the Duomo, with a group of figures taken from the Old Testament. The David was one, and was actually begun in 1464 by Agostino di Duccio. Over the next two years, Agostino managed to rough out part of the huge block of marble hewn from the famous quarry in Carora before stopping in 1466. No one knows why. Another artist picked up the slack, but he, too, only worked on it briefly. The marble remained untouched for the next 25 years, until Michelangelo resumed carving it in 1501. He was 26 at the time. When finished, the David weighed six tons, meaning it couldn't be hoisted to the cathedral's roof. Instead, it was put on display just outside to the entrance to the Palazzo Vecchio, Florence's town hall. The figure, one of the purest distillations of the High Renaissance style, was immediately embraced by the Florentine public as a symbol of the city-state's own resistance against the powers arrayed against it. In 1873, the David was moved to Academia Gallery, and a replica was installed in its original location. 15. Lion of Lucerne, Switzerland The Lion Monument also known as the Lucerne Lion is a memorial from Lucerne, Switzerland. This monument is a sculpture made from a rock extracted in an old sandstone quarry and depicts a dead lion. Unveiled in the early 19th century, the lion commemorates the Swiss guards who lost their lives in 1792, during French Revolution. 16. Victor's Way In Wicklow, Ireland, you will find the strangest park, with the most interesting and frightening statues at the same time. Like an art gallery displayed along the park, Sculptures were created by Victor Langheld after one journey to India, India in search of spirituality, which is also reflecting by his works. Most of sculptures were made of black granite and are depictions of Indian gods. 17. Colossus Florence, Italy. The giant, a half-man, half-mountain, was built around the year 1500 by Italian sculptor Giambologna as a symbol of Apennine Mountain's greatness. The mountain statue hides a wonderful secret, there are more multipurpose rooms inside which brought this colossus back to life. 18. The Kunta Kint, Alex Haley United States of America. This artwork is a memorial that portrays the word, symbolizing the triumph of the human spirit in very difficult times, while conveying Alex Haley's vision for reconciliation and healing. This artwork underlines the importance of maintaining strong family connections, preserving and honoring the family history and cultural heritage. 19. Force of Nature, Lorenzo Quinn. After witnessing the hurricane turmoil in Thailand, Italian sculptor Lorenzo Quinn began to create a series of sculptures named The Force of Nature, Bronze, Metal and Aluminum. The sculptures, full of energy and life, express the fragility of human beings and the entire earth faced with nature, at times. 20. Guardians of Time, the Great Britain. The Guardians of Time is a series of sculptures created by the artist Manfred Kielnhofer, who is convinced that humanity is observed and protected by strange characters. Inspired by these religious and supernatural phenomena, natural stone guardians of time were imagined, with hidden face and laid out like in sort of a ritual. Sculptures are displayed in public places such as parks, castles or ancient mines. 21. Les Voyages, Bruno Catalano. French artist Bruno Catalano created a series of bronze sculptures, e-journeys, depicting people's suitcases 
employees with lacking body parts, which made them so unique and full of meaning. Did they really miss something or did they leave unnecessary things behind? Surely these works and forms of art fit perfectly into the space, greatly embellishing certain geographic areas, which subsequently become tourist attractions. Analyzing on a smaller scale, such as garden landscaping, there is a tendency to decorate these spaces with their own works e statues, artistic fountains. Exterior design can be inspired by your visited places, granite or marble sculptures with abstract shapes can decorate your backyard or sandstone columns, like the ones you admire from Greek architecture. 22. August Rodin, The Burgers of Calais, 1894-85 while most people associate the great French sculptor Auguste Rodin with the thinker, this ensemble commemorating an incident during the Hundred Years' War, 1337-1453, between Britain and France is more important to the history of sculpture. Commissioned for a park in the city of Calais, where a year-long siege by the English in 1346, was lifted when six town elders offered themselves up for execution in exchange for sparing the population. The burghers eschewed the format typical of monuments at the time, instead of figures isolated or piled into a pyramid atop a tall pedestal, Rodin assembled his life-size subjects directly on the ground, level with the viewer. This radical move toward realism broke with the heroic treatment usually accorded such outdoor works. With the burghers, Rodin took one of the first steps toward modern sculpture. 23. The Terracotta Army, 210-209 BC Discovered in 1974, the Terracotta Army is an enormous cache of clay statues buried in three massive pits near the tomb of Shi Huang, the first emperor of China, who died in 210 BC. Meant to protect him in the afterlife, the army is believed by some estimates to number more than 8,000 soldiers along with 670 horses, and 130 chariots. Each is life-size, though actual height varies according to military rank. 24. Edgar Degas, The Little 14-Year-Old Dancer, 1881-1922 While Impressionist master Edgar Degas is best known as a painter, he also worked in sculpture, producing what was arguably the most radical effort of his oeuvre. Degas fashioned The Little 14-Year-Old Dancer out of wax, from which subsequent bronze copies were cast after his death in 1917 but the fact that Degas dressed his eponymous subject in an actual ballet costume, complete with bodice, tutu, and slippers, and wig of real hair caused a sensation when Dancer debuted at the Sixth Impressionist Exhibition of 1881 in Paris. Degas elected to cover most of his embellishments in wax to match the rest of girls' features, but he kept the tutu, as well as a ribbon tying backing her hair, as they were, making the figure one of the first examples of found object art. Dancer was the only sculpture that Degas exhibited in his lifetime, after his death, some 156 more examples were found languishing in his studio, 